Yeah, don't laugh at the three inch. You can sink, definitely sink a Kira out of this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Captain Chang Plays Cool Waters. Today we are attempting a special challenge. It's called the One vs. All Challenge. If you ever played the One vs. All single mission, you would have an idea on what this is about. Basically, you take one small ship and you be up against three. Soviet ships, usually a Kirov class, usually we call that a battle cruiser, although technically it's a guided missile cruiser nuclear, a uh, heavy guided missile destroyer, and an older destroyer. Shall we see what we can do against such a disparity? of combat power because as you know uh, the I basically chose an Oliver Hazard Perry class I did have to swap out all the harpoon missiles for extra standard uh, SAMs and just to make sure I can defend myself against all the incoming uh, salvo of uh, anti-ship missiles and even then I managed to take one hit because they have 50 plus missiles and I only have 40 SAMs. On the other hand, once I survive all of them, thanks to the Sea Whiz, that's the R2D2 little turret in the back, plus some chaff, I was actually able to. Well, actually, I'm not going to spoil the whole thing. Why don't you just watch? If you're wondering what are we doing, we are running away. We are, at least for the moment, we're running away and we're lobbing missiles backwards to kill any launching. And yes, we are doing this without our own radar on. It works. Probably a bit of cheating, but it works. We're sending all those missiles back to intercept any incoming uh, anti-ship missiles. If they get close enough, we'll get a klaxon, and the Sea Whiz will open up, and we should be launching chaff. Uh, and we will keep doing this until they run out of missiles, or we run out of missiles. And we will run out of missiles sooner than they would. Unfortunately, that's just how the numbers work out. We only carry about 40 of these, whereas they have 50 plus, and one of their missiles were wreckers. Yeah, you work. This part is kind of boring. Why don't we fast forward this a little bit? Ring two nine zero contact is in the baffles. Ouch, that hurts. Uh, we took a hit. Uh, we're still alive, but that's mostly plot armor. We have like, uh, as you can see by the percentage, we have 5% hull left. And uh, I guess we just didn't shoot enough of those SAMs. And I don't know why we're saving them, but uh, apparently I didn't. That was not a wise choice. If you're wondering what are those uh, big pops uh, going off, those are... Uh, the chaff going off. Uh, chaff is supposed to distract some of the incoming missiles as well. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Apparently one got through and 
A second hit will kill us. Sam contact bearing two eight nine. Con sonar lost contact. Master one flat. We shut down the other helix. Contact is in the baffle. Did we shoot down the May? Yep, we shut down the May too. Okay, so well, at least we took down a couple with us. Well, I think we finally ran them out of anti-ship missiles. Now it's time to turn around and strike. And yes, we only have a 3-inch gun, but it is a mighty one. And uh, let's just say this thing fires so fast, you'll be wondering, uh, where do we get that? Uh, hey, it's a fun little gun. And it's mounted amidships. Really? The k just sitting there? Well, folks, I can vouch for what's going on with the AI, but we're going to speed through this boring part. Basically, what happened is the Kanin destroyer, the old one, decided to speed ahead of the Kirov and I am going to turn around and attack them. Yes, my little frigate with a little three inch cannon is going to attack a destroyer. Who's, uh, this old destroyer is actually about the same size, but apparently he doesn't have any cannons. Why is he charging me? I have no idea. Even though he has no missiles left, but uh, hey, he's going... 30 some knots and I'm going 29 and I have this little three inch cannon in the middle and I'm going to get in range which is about 15 kilometers and uh, we're going to be shooting so let's fast forward both in the game and in the footage and uh, let's see what happens next. Look at that thing go! It's like an auto cannon. I know, not very accurate, but uh, not supposed to be. We got him slowed down to 23, 22. Yeah. Ooh, the ref hit. Ooh, and not a hit. Another hit.
Okay. Well, there goes the cannon. Okay, our next target is going to be, yes, the Kirov. Uh, apparently, the Udaloi has decided to uh, run off and uh, leaving the Kirov by himself. And if you notice, Kirov has no guns in the front. Its uh, cannons are in the back. So, as long as the it doesn't turn around, I have it. Uh, uh, I can shoot at it with uh, no retaliation. I know the, this is just the AI being stupid, but uh, hey, sometimes uh, you have to get all the break that you can. Again, let's fast forward through the boring parts. Uh, we're going to fast forward until we get in range of the Kirov and, uh, uh, we should be, there we go. We started shooting. I totally agree that the AI is just being stupid there. It should have turned its tail toward us and started shooting with its cannons, but uh, let's just say the AI is not being very smart here. And in case why we took a pause, uh, that's because the uh, auto cannons have a limited magazine. So it has to shoot in batches. So like we are getting a couple hits in. Yeah, don't laugh at the three inch. You can sink it, definitely sink a key out of this. And it looks like we just did sink a key off with a little three incher. Now the Udaloi. Unfortunately, the Udaloi is pretty heavily armed with both cannons and missiles, and it did spend its missiles. Of course, it'd be ready for us. Let's see if we can get in range and see if we can kill it before they kill us. Remember, he has 100% hull, we have 5% hull. This is not good as we're down to 2%. Uh, let's hope we can do some damage to the Udaloi before he sinks us. Uh, other than that, it's uh, running on prayers. God, In the range now, come on.
really hit him that many times? Come on, keep hitting him. We're down to 1%. It's going to be close. Oh no, we're dead. Wait, did we kill him? Yes, we did. Okay, mutual destruction. We sank each other. Thank you for watching this cold waters challenge from captain chang i will see you in the next video please subscribe and all that see ya